Hello, welcome to another video by LSX Engines Tuning and Marine. The title of this video is um, Don't Get Mer Cruiser. And uh, what I'm about to tell you is um, Mer Cruiser charges a fortune for their parts. Um, for example, these are some uh, 4.3 V6 camshafts. This one here just happens to come out of a truck. And you can see it's, it's not really reusable. It's got too much rust on it. It's not something that I would uh, put back in the engine. Um, that one has a casting number. Uh, I can't, you can't read it, hardly read it, but it's six. With the light, right? It's 691. You have to trust me if you can't see it. It's 691 across there. That is a truck cam. The Marine cam, the same uh, engine, but with a Marine version, the number is... It is three, 324. There you go. You can see that. 324 across there. That is the marine version of this cam. So that cam, and this one is not terrible shape. I'm going to have to clean it up a little bit. But the uh, the lobes are not worn off, and it's in pretty decent shape. Got a little bit of, that's actually dirt, not rust. So I'm going to clean that one up, and that can be re reused. So the reason I'm doing this video is about six months ago, one of my viewers asked me if I need the part number for the uh, General Motors 4.3 camshaft for a marine application. And uh, at the time I didn't. And so uh, ever since I've been doing research and trying to find it. And so far I've not found the GM part number, the GM equivalent part number for the marine camshaft. I'm not sure one exists. But here's the solution to that problem. If you've got a cam like this from a truck and you don't have a marine camshaft, there's a company called Delta Camshaft Delta camshaft in Washington State. They could take this truck cam and machine it, re recondition it to a Mercruiser spec 4.3 camshaft and get this for $84. I'm going to say that like SpongeBob. $84. So that's a huge bargain. So let me tell you why. So the Mercruiser part number for this cam, actually, I don't know the part number, but the price is, I think it was like $520 something dollars. Or it's somewhere above five hundred dollars. I don't know the exact number, but it's over five hundred dollars for brand new camshaft in the Mercury's application. Actually, this camshaft right here—that's the three twenty-four. That's what you're going to be paying five hundred something dollars. And again, even if you have a Mercury's cam that's not reusable and lobes are in bad shape, send it to Delta and they can recondition it for eighty-four dollars, and it's good as new. And this is another. This is another marine application, um, but again, don't. Don't spend the money at Mercruiser or buying Mercruiser parts. You're going to get ripped off. Their prices are astronomical. Uh, another example is the this is this actually a, a that's actually a balance shaft gear, so it's not really the right gear. But if you buy a timing set for a 4.3 V6, then you get the timing gear, the cam gear, the chain, and the crank gear as a set from uh, say Rock Auto. You can get that for about 50 bucks and a good quality set for 50 dollars. Um, Matter of fact, GM is stamped on the gear, so it's a general motor set. And I think by mailing, mailing sells it, or mailing brand, but it's $50 on Rock Auto. The same parts individually bought off of, say, MarineNinja.com in Mercruiser, you're going to spend $320. So, like I said, the title of this video is Don't Get Mercruiser. You're going to pay a fortune. As a matter of fact, that's how I'm able to build, uh, customer, build boats for customers, build engines for customers, and do it pretty cheaply. I can't recall a day that I bought a single Mercury's apart yet, except for maybe a rubber impeller and the water pump in the foot. So, another story or another situation. Oh, by the way, for the, uh, I was talking about part numbers. For the V8 application, both the 5.7 and the 5.0, this is a General Motors cam. So, brand new cam, the part number is 1409-73395. This is a brand new cam. It's a marine spec cam. It's got a General Motors part number. This part is $497 in Mercruiser uh, off of MarineEngine.com. I bought this cam from Summit Racing for $236. And by the way, you can shop around, you're not going to find it cheaper than $236. All the, every store that sells this, Rock Auto, uh, Summit Racing, everywhere I look is $236. Even the GM parts direct, all the GM dealers sell it for the same price. So, so let me tell you another story. So. Um, about six months ago, uh, one, another customer said uh, he had a 6.2 Merc Cruiser. And uh, so I said, well, you know, that's kind of an odd number because, best of my knowledge, GM didn't make a 6.2 small block Chevrolet. And uh, the 6.2 is a, a modern, sorry about the traffic. 
The 6.2 is a modern LS motor, LS3 engine from about 2008 on up. But apparently they did make a 6.2 Mercruiser back in the late 90s. So I did a little research online and I found some Mercruiser brochures, Mercruiser sites that said the 6.2 Mercruiser was a unique engine designed just by Mercruiser, specifically for Mercruiser and so forth. And I told the customer, I said, look, I can rebuild it. I, I can rebuild it just by any engine. But it's going to cost you because I'm sure Mercruiser parts going to be astronomical. I looked up the bearings for a Mercruiser 6.2 and like $250. I can buy the same bearings for maybe 50, 40 bucks from Rock Auto on a small block Chevrolet. So I told him I could do it. And he said, well, yeah, go ahead and do it. So he uh, brought me the engine. He didn't bring me the whole boat. He just brought the engine. And it was mostly torn apart. So I went ahead and tore the engine down. As I'm getting through this engine, I'm like, there's nothing special about this engine. This is nothing more than a small block Chevrolet Vortec engine. And then I got inside and um, I was, what I'm saying is everything about it was a small block Chevrolet, just like any other small block 5.7 or 5.0 Chevrolet that I built. There was absolutely nothing special about it. And then I got to the crankshaft and the pistons and the piston rod. So as I knocked out, the, by the way, I measured the board. The board was four inches, just like a 5.7 small block, no different. When I got the first rod out, I noticed that they modified the rod a little bit. So if you look right here, you see how that rod's been ground off a little bit right there? Look at, if you look at that side, it's kind of flat. This side's ground off. And the reason they did that, and I recognize that right away, is because this, this rod had to be ground to clear the uh, inside of the block because this crankshaft, as it turns out, is not a 350 crankshaft. It has a stroke of a uh, well, what it turns out to be, General Motors never made this engine from the factory, but hot rodders know all about this. This is what's called a 383. So the stroke on the crankshaft on the 383 is longer. It has a, a longer dimension from the center of the crank out to the center of this uh, crank pin. So what it does, it makes the piston travel further. So the pistons are not the same and the rods are not. The, well, the rods are the same, but the pistons aren't. And so what they had to do was notch the rod to clear since the since the stroke is longer and this throw is longer, it would hit the inside of the block if they didn't notch that or, or grind off that rod right there. So basically, what Mercruiser did to create a 6.2 is take a standard small block Chevrolet and use a 383 crank. And it's called a rotating assembly, 383 rotating assembly. So you got a 383 crankshaft, 383 pistons. There's I mean, it's, it's not really special. I mean, it's not Mercruiser designed. It's not Mercruiser anything, really. It's a 383 rotating assembly, which hot rodders used to build all the time. It's known for high, uh, high torque. They used to use them in tor trucks and stuff, so forth for high torque because you get a little bit more torque from the longer throw of the crankshaft. It's less revving, but it's higher torque. So the bottom line is that Mercruiser has a tendency of a, uh, I'm not gonna use the word lie, but the word hype comes to mind. They hype their stuff up big time. So you buy a Mercruiser. And I'm saying I have yet to build, I've been doing this, uh, I've been doing uh, marine engines full time for a while now. And I have yet to have to buy a Mercruiser part. Absolutely, I've not had to buy a single Mercruiser part. Even this crankshaft I can get from somewhere else other than Mercruiser. I'm sure this thing probably costs a thousand dollars for Mercruiser. I have to check the price on it, but I'm sure I could get a 383 crank. Uh, even if this was damaged, I could have it repaired and fixed for a lot cheaper than what Mercruiser is going to charge. So again, I have yet to buy a Mercruiser part from MarineEngine.com or uh, Crowley Marine or Hard Marine or uh, Wholesale Marine or wherever these marine stores are. Um, I have yet to buy a Mercruiser part. So like I said, don't get Mercruiser. Um, the um, bottom lines if you uh, search for I, I, I made note of this in the past in some of my videos but I don't use even on my pistons and ring I don't use the these engines are what's called Vortec engines which were made from 1996 and up where most of the engines I'm building were called uh, Vortec engines and they were used from 96 up to about I think Jim GM stopped putting them in cars and trucks in about night it's about 2005 I think I think the van still had them up to about 2005 but um, the bottom line is that um, if you search for Rock Auto from say 96 to about 99, that's the years they made the Vortec 5.0, 5.7, and the 4.3s. And so that's how I find most of my parts for, for Mercruiser engines. Um, and again, if it's something specific to Mercruiser, I'll look on the marineengine.com site, find the Mercruiser part number, 
then Google that part number and find the equivalent in Sierra or some other manufacturer. I've yet to buy Mercruiser parts. Um, <clears throat> again, you can find most of what I find, most of where I shop is Summit Racing, Rock Auto, um, Engine Parts Center, which is based out of Birmingham. I'm trying to think of a Marine Parts Source. But uh, again, Summit Racing, Rock Auto, Engine Parts Center, those are probably those are probably the three main places I shop for my parts. And uh, again, I've, I've alluded to this in some of my earlier videos on 4.3 V6s about uh, where I, I don't use I don't use uh, the Vortec pistons. I use the I think it's 1993, 1992 up to 95 pistons. They're the exact same pistons, but they use a, what's called uh, an imperial ring size. I think it's a uh, I want to say it's a uh, five. 564s, 564s, and 316s. The Vortec from 96 up uses a metric version. I think it's 1.5 millimeter, 1.5 millimeter, and 3 millimeter. So I just still use the older pistons and rings because they're a whole lot cheaper. I think the Vortec piston set off of Rock Auto is about $200. I think the part number is H897. That sticks in my head. I may be wrong, but uh, it's H8 something. 868 probably. But um, you can look it up on Rock Auto. But so I use 92 to 95 pistons. I called Federal, I've, I called Seal Power that makes the pistons and asked, and they said they're, they're the exact same pistons. They just use uh, smaller rings on the uh, Vortec instead of the earlier ones. So in the pistons, the earlier pistons are about $100 a set. They fluctuate a lot. They fluctuate from 80 to say 100. And, sorry about the traffic. 80 to about $130 a set. Kind of like gasoline, but um. Again, don't buy Mercruiser. Shop around on Rock Auto, Summit Racing, Engine Parts Center. And if there's any other places I can think of after I end this video, I'll put it in the uh, description. But I, again, I save a whole lot of money by not buying Mercruiser. And you're going to get killed. Again, this cam is uh, almost $490 something dollars. The 4.3 is over $500 in Mercruiser parts. They're a whole lot cheaper, less, less than half that if you buy them somewhere other than that. So again, I'll put in the description some of the, uh, the secrets of my trade about where I buy parts, what part numbers I use if I know it's a really good bargain. And uh, so thanks for watching my videos and uh, subscribe if you enjoy my work and uh, helps to support my channel. And by the way, I, uh, I hit 1,000 subscribers about uh, three or four weeks ago. And I want to thank everybody who's subscribed to my channel so far. I really do appreciate it. And uh, it makes it uh, that much more exciting to produce videos and uh, get out here and teach people about how to build marine engines. Um, I, I saw today there's a lot of hype out there about uh, people saying, well, oh, marine engines are special. They have different cams. Yeah, they do. But you don't have to buy a Mercruiser. Uh, they have different, uh, what else did they say? They have different seats and exhaust valves. No, they don't. There's, it's the same exact heads as a standard truck motor. Um, so there's a lot of uh, old wives' tales and myths out there about marine engines, but there's a few differences. They, uh, they use brass freeze plug instead of steel. Basically, anything that water touches, they don't use steel. These brass or something that doesn't rust. And they, they put a little bit more clearance in the cylinder because the engines run a little faster, a little higher RPM. But again, I've, already, I've done a video about how to convert a truck engine to a marine application in another video, so you can watch that. And again, Nothing special about a Merc Cruiser engine, just a few differences, and uh, I've, I've tried to teach people what the differences are. And like I say, you can save a lot of money by not buying Merc Cruiser. I don't have anything against Merc Cruiser. I just have, I'm just a big opponent, or a big proponent of saving money. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Good night.